Hi, my name is Denise Lee, and I'm the creator of the Accounting Lesson Library Mega Bundle. So with this bundle, you will get a lot of separate files that TPT will send you. But honestly, everything that you need is in this Accounting Lesson Library, which is an additional resource that you receive uh, with this bundle. Um, this is a very comprehensive bundle, but as stated in the description, it is not something that replaces a textbook. Um, I teach, I, this is my 26th year of teaching. I've been teaching accounting every year and I teach via textbook. I've developed all of these activities in this file to kind of correspond with the textbook because the students hate the textbook. So I'm using the textbook less and less as the years go on. Um, and I'm using more and more of my own creations because students respond better uh, with this type of digital creativity and way to display lessons. So I just wanna give you a brief tour of this resource. You get this, which is awesome. This is a um, accounting, uh, decor bundle. So this is pocket the benefits of accounting and it's also the accounting cycle. So that will get your classroom started at the beginning of the year. This very first resource here is digital notes. They are digital fillable. You will want to send these to your students uh, via your learning management system and then project your teacher's notes, which this is the teacher's key to those digital files on your whiteboard while students complete them. Now I do these as the semester progresses. These are the same graphic organizers that are in my infamous, my famous snip notes. The snip notes are not included with this file as many of my um, teachers that I serve already have the snip notes. And I was trying to keep the price of this bundle down, but those snip notes are uh, one of my best sellers. And when you go to my TPT store, Business Ed with Denise Lee, you will see it's one of the first resources on there. It's called Accounting Snip Notes, but these are the digital notes. Um, the difference between the snip notes and the digital notes are the snip notes is a paper file of notes, and this is a digital file of notes. Again, they're the same graphic organizers. Um, if you follow along here, you'll see that this is something that can be done at the beginning of the year. This is definitely something before you even start. So maybe the first week of school branches of accounting, and then these digital writing prompts are worth their weight in gold because they're perfect for a sub day, bell ringers, exit tickets, and so forth. This resource are the digital fillables. Um, these are amazing. Um, I do not give paper working papers. I also do not use MindTap. Um, I use textbook problems and transactions. The students complete them on these digital fillable forms. I just have them change the name of the assignment in the upper left-hand corner on the Google Doc, um, and they are ready to complete their transactions. Now on to chapter one. These are all resources that I recommend for chapter one. So I'm going to give you a tour of this one. This is called Cell Check. And once you download this file, you're going to delete this, but your teacher's key is here. However, I did include a teacher's key for Cell Check um, on here as well. So you're going to see Cell Check here. So it tells the students a little bit about the business. And on this file, and I'm going to view this smaller so that I can show you the entire file. On this file, the students, this is really small, but I would recommend that the students do it 100%. They're gonna drag and drop. What are assets? What are the liabilities? And they're literally going to drag and drop these over to uh, the category under the accounting equation. So again, this is very introductory and it's interactive because the students are um, dragging and dropping the pieces. Um, after the students complete this file, we check these together. I do not check these individually. These are practice files, but they actually can be used as a test if you want to use them that way. Here, the students are completing a net worth statement with this information in mind. Um, here, the students are completing um, supplies versus equipment, and it, it talks here, the book actually doesn't cover this very well, so I needed to reiterate this with my students. Supplies and equipment are both assets. The company owns them. 
Um, so I explain how supplies are consumables and you buy them over and over again and equipment we have for a while. So cleaning supplies are off obviously going to be supplies. A printer is obviously going to be equipment. Now, some of these are not very obvious to the students. Tools we use over and over again. Um, a cell phone, of course, is going to be equipment. I already said printer and so forth. Um, now, cash register tape is going to be a supply because you buy it over and over again. So it really gets students just really thinking about business assets supplies and equipment specifically using their critical thinking skills. Here the students are going to download the working papers for this and this is receive cash from owner as an investment. This is just an extra problem for them to complete. Again, that is called cell check and on your lesson library that is under chapter one. Again, that can be used as a um, activity file or you can use it as a test. This is another activity you can use as a test. This is T account review. Again, you are going to delete this first slide. And here you're going to ask the students to open up the accounts, drag and drop the account titles and open up the accounts. The kids are really getting an idea of what opening an account means. Um, again, they're just dragging and dropping and opening them. Then I ask the students to drag a plus and a minus indicating um, the T account. So they're gonna drag a plus here and a minus here. And there are plenty here for students to do for each of the accounts. Liabilities here is going to be my accounts payable. So that's gonna go here. And then of course, I'm going to put my plus and my minus. Again, it's interactive. Students are dragging and dropping. Um, and the kids really like this. It's very different. Um, and they also actually don't do these types of activities in their other classes. Here, they're dragging and dropping the green oval over the accounts um, that the title that increases owner's equity. So owner's capital increases owner's equity. Drawing decreases owner's equity. Um, decreases owner's equity would be expenses and then sales. Here they're putting an X over the side that has no activity in place of star. Again, this is completely an interactive activity uh, where students are engaged the entire time. Um, here uh, they're going to put, you know, where is an investment? We know that investment is capital. Where is sold services? It's going to be sales. Um, students love to do these activities. And then there's a series of transactions. They open up these T accounts. You can see that they just literally click in here um, and they are going to then put their responses as the text boxes are already there for them. So again, that's T account review. And back to our lesson library, the Halloween accounting has proven to be one of my best sellers. Um, the students love Halloween accounting where they're walking through Lamar's entrepreneurial journey. Lamar opened up a haunted house and they should be able to answer all of these prompts. And here again, on this first slide, they are going to download this and they're going to complete these general journal or multi-column transactions. You can see here, I provided the general journal and I provided the multi-column in this resource. Pamela's Pies, one of my best sellers, and it's a great interactive activity. They're going to read the story of Pamela. I actually read this with the students. We read it together so that they understand what's happening in Pamela's life. Uh, this is part one of Pamela's entrepreneurial journey. They do a chart of accounts. Um, they complete transactions from source documents. So here's two transactions, two more, and so forth. And of course, you get the teacher's key to this. Pamela's Pies has four uh, different parts and all four are in this big bundle. Here you see that there are um, activities for chapter five. Chapter five is intense. There's a Pamela's Pies to go with chapter five, but you know chapter five is cash control system. So there is a lot to cover there. And um, we also have the worksheet activity when they do the financial worksheet students are dragging and dropping what are the goals and what are the purposes so you can see i'm just dragging and dropping cells here but they're going to have a content what content so which column lists the balances of assets liabilities and owner's equity that would be here 
and which one lists or uh, where's the purpose for um, expenses, assets uh, that are used up, and that would be in adjustments. Again, you get the teacher's key to this. Really gets kids thinking. This is a rigorous activity, but it can be used as an assessment as well. Here, they're going to be completing a trial balance for Burke's Bike Shop. Um, and you can see um, the all the information is over here to the side. Students are going to scroll over, and then they can just fill in the information and keep their fingers crossed that their trial balance equals. Here they have to answer a few questions about uh, adjustments, net loss, net income, and then they have to decide what accounts are listed on the income statement, what accounts are listed on the balance sheet. So you can see here um, they are, again, dragging and dropping these in the appropriate side. And again, that's for financial worksheet that again can be used as an assessment or as an activity file. Santa's chart of accounts. Well, I have to talk about this one first. The um, financial statement color analysis is literally one of my best sellers as well. I wouldn't want to teach without it. Uh, where students you need to have colored pencils or markers and they're marking up problems that they, they did on paper. So I do have them do some on paper just for this purpose. This financial statement color analysis really allows students to use their critical thinking skills to see where things are placed on financial statements. Um, that is a wonderful one. And then this Santa Claus's chart of accounts, I always do right before Christmas. Um, wherever you are in the textbook, they should be able to do Santa Claus's chart of accounts. Um, full disclosure, we handle GAP, income statement balance sheet. Um, you see here, this is an entire holiday mini simulation. I actually don't get to this until after the holidays. It's like the end of January. Um, this is a young lady who started a Santa's workshop and she's completing her fiscal work. So it would be realistic to believe that it would be the end of January or February when she was doing her books for the previous Christmas. Um, it is a great activity where students are doing a, a column financial worksheet. From that, they're doing their um, closing and adjusting entries. From that, they're doing their income statement and balance sheet. It is a wonderful assessment. To see if students understand, this is a Valentine's Day activity, payroll, um, and you can see all of these at the bottom are highly recommended for sub days. These sketch notes are amazing. These sketch notes are in this resource as well. I always do these sketch notes like uh, homecoming week, whenever things are crazy. Um, and students, I just put on the, um, the music and I let them color, but they are coloring really a great sketch of everything we've learned so far this year. And there are three different sketch notes pages that are in there. And then I use them as room decor because the students love to um, color them. So this is that big mega bundle. And as you can tell, it walks through the entire year. Absolutely excellent resource. And thank you so much for listening to my tour.